This morning, a last-ditch effort to avoid war in Europe. President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin have agreed to hold a summit in principle with one major condition that Russia does not invade Ukraine. And through those 70 years, as I mentioned yesterday, there has been peace and security. We are talking about the real possibility of war in Europe. There's still no timing or format for the summit proposed by French President Macron, who spoke separately over the weekend with President Biden, Putin, and Ukrainian President Zelensky. China is also now pushing for a diplomatic solution. The Chinese foreign minister saying, quote, the sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity of any country should be respected and safeguarded. Ukraine is no exception. This all coming after U.S. officials said Russian commanders have now been given orders to plan to invade. The U.S. believes that Putin has told his tactical commanders to be prepared, to move into position, ready to conduct an attack. That's very different from Putin making the actual decision and saying, you will attack. More than 150,000 Russian troops are thought to be gathered on three sides of Ukraine. Some estimates claim that number could be as high as 190,000. Adding to the pressure, Russia announcing troops will continue to carry out military drills in Belarus, just north of Ukraine's border. ABC's James Longman is there. Russia and Belarus have been adamant so far. All this, these are just pre-planned military exercises, but with the tension ratcheting up over in eastern Ukraine, these military drills have certainly taken on a much more threatening character. And new overnight, word the Biden administration has sent a letter to the United Nations saying it has credible information that shows Moscow is creating lists of identified Ukrainians to be killed or sent to camps following a military occupation. Across Ukraine, civilians are taking part in combat training, preparing to fight if necessary. Never give up. This is my country. It is my city. Will your citizens take up weapons? Yes, yes. I am optimist. Together with the United States, together with Great Britain, we're all world victory, only victory. And this morning, Mona, the State Department is now warning Americans in Russia to avoid crowded areas and stay alert in tourist areas as well. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.